Without time, man, your Panic Express is getting cold. Hey, you want to know what I bought from Costco? I don't know, soap, hopefully. Nothing, you know why? Why? You just touched one beans. Paula took my fucking paycheck. What? Something about me owing her for kickbacks or some bullshit. This is what POs are like, man. The sooner you accept it, the sooner the show okay. will bother you. Okay, easy for you to say. You have Duke or Larry. Look, look, Paula's whole job is to make your life miserable. Your job is to not let it bother you. Or I could kill her. Yeah. Great plan. End up back in the joint. No, I think it might be worth it. I don't know if I can handle two more years of this fucking show. Show your fucking tits and eat your noodles, man. Let's talk about something else. Fellas! Hey, how's it going? Is that Sparrow? Love me some Sparrow. Mm. What is this? He's talking me now? No, not here for you. Uh-uh. So, that leaves just one other person at this table. That's too fucking bad. You ain't my P.O. Lollipop killer. Let's get out of here. Get some pink berry. That's the rub. I made a little arrangement with Larry, so sit. You're mine now. Wait, what? It's never good in a relationship when one partner has a soft P.O. This took a lot of effort on my part to make this happen. Had to have dinner with Larry and his wife at the Olive Garden. Ugh, those kids. One of them's into magic. I kept making the breadsticks disappear. I wanted to tell him, that's not a trick. You're just a fat fuck, but whatever. Anyway, Larry switched with me, so you're welcome. Why would you do that? I never had a Milkovich before. I always wanted one, so I seized the opportunity. All right, I got a two-person job for you guys. So let's finish up with this lunch, and we're all going to skedaddle on out of here, OK? Grab one more of those headsets, too, OK? Come on, guys. Still think I should chew my fucking tits? <laughs>